Hey, what is up everyone? It's Ben Falcons Media Corner back again with a brand new movie review for today. This is going to be my review on a film that was released back in 2007, which this movie is based on the long-running animated sitcom that all began since 1989. And this movie has just recently turned 15 years old. And so for this video, I decided to make a review for this film while also celebrate its 15th anniversary in a special way. And as you guys can tell from the shirt that I'm wearing, of course, I'm here to talk to you guys about the 2007 computer animated comedy film. And that movie is, of course, The Simpsons Movie. This is directed by David Silverman, one of the, who has directed numerous episodes of The Simpsons as well as, directed, as well, he has directed Monsters, Inc. So, in this movie, of course, we follow the Simpsons family as well as some secondary characters that we all know and love from the show, in which each one by one we are given some plot lines for the members of the Sim each member of the Simpsons family, which we see uh, Homer being, you know, a lovable, ca careless um, character that we all know and love from the show, which in this movie, um, we, guess we, we see him get into a whole bunch of crazy shenanigans, like he does some dares with Bart, and then one day he finds a pig and he adopts him, and then they started to he starts to bond with the pig and does some silly stuff with the pig and for marge you know being just you know a lovable um caring character um showing which she shows of course love and trust for homer like he, she always t tends to do from the show as well as in this movie we see her like she's trying to figure out what grandpa was saying bef to her before in the church because for Grandpa, he had a vision in church where something was going to happen in Springfield and she's trying to figure out what's going on when he mentioned Epa and she's trying to figure out what that is. And for Bart, he's seeing how um, Homer and Ned are become like father figures towards him because he's trying to find like sort of a father figure in his life between Homer and Ned since they're kind of, since they're kind of starting like sort of a bonding relationship as like father and son. And for Lisa, she cares about Springfield because she really wants to save the environment since people are dumping uh, stuff in the lake and it's affecting the environment. And so she encourages the, the whole town of Springfield to stop dumping stuff in the lake to basically uh, to basically um, affect the environment. And she does that. However, for Homer, he made a crip, he made crip, he made a pig crap, and he doesn't even know much doesn't know much about the whole dumping stuff in the lake situation. So he just he just dumps this he dumps the pig crap in the lake, and it of course it affects the environment of Springfield. And when the the Environmental Protection Agency, also known as the e, also known as EPA, uh, they find out about this and they decide to put a giant glass dome. All, and they just cover the whole town of Springfield and everyone's and everyone's and everyone's worried about their lives and they're trying to figure out what's going on and why and what how and like why they're in this storm and soon they find out that Homer was responsible for all this and so the whole town's people go up against, uh, turned against the Simpsons and for the Simpsons family of course they escape and they start to settle their new life in Alaska however it gets cut short because they find out that uh, this evil man named Russ Cargill, voiced by Albert Brooks, who who who's involved with the who involved, who's involved with EPA, he wants to blow up Springfield and destroy it, and so basically the Simpsons have to go back to Springfield and of course save the day, and ho and hopefully they can stop Russ Russ Cargill's plan from destroying Springfield. So that's pretty much the story of the Simpsons movie. Before I get into my personal thoughts on the movie, for my memories with the show, I've really I remember watching the show a lot as a kid. And um, for my personal thought on the show, I really love the show. It's one of my favorite animated sitcoms of all time, alongside other animated sitcoms I've always tend to love watching all the time, like Family Guy, South Park, and Bob's Burgers. Those are my favorite shows. But The Simpsons is just hands down one of my favorites. And uh, even though in recent years, after I saw the movie, the show has kind of gone a bit downhill, but I still love the show no matter what. But back in 2007 when the movie was coming out, I remember this movie being everywhere back in 2007. I remember the advertisements, the websites, the trailers, the merchandises, everything about the, about the movie. Like I remember the websites, they used to have the games and all that, which they, were, they were really fun. And uh, I remember the trailers and the advertisements for the movie and the merchandises as well. I remember like they even promoted the, they, they promoted the movie at Burger King, which I thought that, which I would never forget those memories because I remember the 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 toys you get when you get when you get kids meals and all that those were just fun memories, and even back in two thousand seven I remember they, I remember getting my own copy of the film for Christmas as well as also when the movie was also coming out they even promoted the video game not based on the movie but just the Simpsons game, um, which I never I 
still love playing the games to this day. I used to play on Xbox, and I have a, and I have a play, for the PlayStation Three, which I still have to this day, and I still love playing the game to this day. Um, and for the movie itself, I remember watching this movie a lot. As a, this movie a lot of times when I was a kid. When I first got it for Christmas, I've always watched it everywhere. Everywhere I was at, like I went, I watched it at home. I even sometimes brought it to me at school in college for like fun days and they've always and for my class they've always picked out this movie like my own copy of the movie and they've always wanted to watch it and all that which i'll never which those were fun memories and ever since i rewatched the film in recent years my my opinion for this movie still holds up to this day because for the simpsons movie i really love this movie here this is definitely one of my favorite um, animated movies of the 2000s and even for and even for an animated film that's based on in that's based on a cartoon Ever. The storytelling and the writing in this movie, I found both of these things in this movie to be really, really strong together in this film. There's so many ways to describe the storytelling in this film. There are times where it goes for action, although it doesn't really focus a whole lot of action. But for moments like that in this film, I can describe them from being action-packed, intense, and engaging at the same time. And for a plot line where Springfield's in a perilous situation, I can definitely say they took that level for this, for the, from this movie and they've beaten what the show is like. Which I can definitely say the writers did a great job from all of that. And also there are times for storytelling where it can be heartwarming. But for when we do see each of the plot lines for what each member for one by one the like the family's given in this movie. Like when we see Homer and Marge showing their love and trust for each other, uh Bart on how he sees Homer and Ned being father figure towards him, and Lisa where um she cares the environment of Springfield, she wants to save the environment of Springfield along with this boy who she really likes named Colin. And for each of these plot lines, I was really invested with, and they were generally strong in this movie. And there are some times in the film where it can be, where some of these do have their emotions to it. Although, they didn't make me, they didn't make me have the tear gates open in my eyes. Because I was just getting really engaged with, I was, I was just getting engaged really, I didn't even cry for any moments like that. And um, for the whole, um environmental plot line in the film i could definitely say it's really interesting and the writers did a great job of making it really interesting instead of being just you know lazy because usually for some animated films where they just throw in like um environmental plot line usually they can be a bit lazy but luckily for this movie they did a great job of making for be, for making it really interesting and the writing again was strong for like the the comedy and all that and the jokes and all that, like they 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 do throw in references from like the show as well as having a few pop culture references, which I thought were great. And they still kind of and they still hold up well for me personally, because for moments like for those references in this movie, they were generally are oh, absolutely hilarious. And for other jokes and humor in this film, I could definitely say they're absolutely hilarious. That I almost died even like ever since I rewatched it again because I've. When I first watched it for the first time, I I couldn't stop laughing my ass off for the, the amount of jokes and humor this film provided, and the how many jokes and humor this film provided, and um, the animation in this film is terrific. Uh, it's just it just ha it's just like what the show is like, and it does have new techniques to it, like a bit of three D to it for the characters and the town, like and the, the like the background settings and all that. Which I thought the animators did a terrific job from all of that, and the characters themselves, of course. The characters it's what it's what you expect from the show and the writers did a terrific job for not disappointing us fans of the show because you know i really care for these characters you know the simpsons and all that and it's great to see secondary characters although they just pop up once in a while to to basically give what they were given to show it to us audience on the screen which i thought were great but for the simpsons family themselves i liked what they were given in this movie because they showed that they each showed their relationship one by one in this film which i thought the writers again did a terrific job from all of that because again I was really getting invest more invested with The Simpsons more than ever for, than I've ever expected before from the show. And other than other than that, guys, The Simpsons movie I generally love. This movie it's one of my favorite animated movies of two thousand seven. Definitely one of my favorites of that of that year, and definitely one of my favorite um, animated films that's based on a based on a cartoon series like South Park, Bigger, Longer Than Cut did. And most recently, of course, Bob's, the Bob's Burgers movie. And if, you've, if you're a diehard fan of The Simpsons, if you've never seen this movie before, you'll definitely have an absolute blast with this one. Even if you're not a fan of The Simpsons, like the show, you'll still have an absolute blast with this movie. So that's pretty much all I have to say about The Simpsons movie. I'm going to give The Simpsons movie five out of five. <laughs> perfect score and like i said there was not a single nitpick i could really pick out with this movie that really bothered me ever since i rewatched this film in recent years my opinion for this film will still hold up to this day 
since I'm a big fan of the, sh of the Simpsons themselves. And my love for the show itself will not die down on me since that show was really special to me as since I was a child. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching for my movie review on the Simpsons movie. And let me know what you think of this movie, if you have seen this before or if you've just recently watched this film for the first time. Do you absolutely adore this movie or did you not really appreciate this movie? So again, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more reviews. And as always, this is Ben Foggins Media Corner signing off. Mmm. Donut. Come on, Dad, let's go. I've been holding it since they put the dome over the town. You can wait. A lot of people work really hard on this film, and all they ask is for you to memorize their names. Well, I want to make sure no animals were harmed during the filming of this movie. Phew. Okay. Woo, floor popcorn. Wait, wait, wait. It looks like Maggie has something to say. Oh my god, her first word!